In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to properly set up your tuck boxes to our three up printing sheets. First, what you'll need is the template sheet for the size box that you want to use. We offer 36 card, 54 card, 72 card, and 108 card boxes. So first, we'll just point out all the pieces of this template. This one here is a 72 card deck. This right here is your front cover, and this line that goes through the front cover is where it's scored so that you can pull back the top flap and, and get access to your cards. And then obviously these are the sides, the tuck, the flaps that tuck in, and the bottom flap and the top flap. This is the back, and this dip here is a thumb hole for pulling out the top flap, and this here is the glue flap, so you don't really need anything art-wise on that piece. So for this example I'm going to use a tuck box that I've already created, and you'll see how this lines up on all the panels but it also extends past the guidelines this is your bleed and it is essential we can't run this without bleed otherwise you'll have white on some of the pieces of your box and you won't be happy with it now this is a good example because this also runs off into the next box beneath it so to do that we'll just take our lasso tool or whatever tool that is similar in the program you're using and select the pieces that we want to get rid of and just delete it now since these sheets have three up, except for the 108 card box which has two up, all you need to do is just duplicate your box and line it up on each part. Now as you can see this one also has some bleed spill, so we'll just select it. and delete it. Now you'll notice that the third box is rotated upside down. That's so that we could fit more than two boxes on a sheet. So what you'll need to do is just duplicate your box again and then rotate it. Now you can do this however your design program lets you. I'm just using free transform in Photoshop. And once that's set up, line it up on this other box. and make sure that everything that is outside the guidelines is, that's okay if it overlaps but if it overlaps within the guidelines you might want to fix that and it looks pretty good and once you have all three of your boxes go ahead and hide or remove your guide layer and then save this out as a JPEG, PNG, PSD uh, or PDF and then upload that for printing. Thanks.